the Bible is it hard to understand when it comes to reading the Bible the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the Word of God the seals have been broken and the truth is here and when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth, was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out here anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom, shalom throughout the four corners of the earth. I'm Elder Rikar Shiar. Come on in. Come on in, brothers and sisters. Boy, do we have a Patreon update for you this evening. Well, this afternoon. Blessings. Okay, I'm not going to be too long on this side because we need to spend more time with patreon okay but today do we have a discussion as you can see this title is uh is deep in its within itself moloch sacrifice and the elite will be our discussion on patreon today and i'm going to segue over to patreon in a moment i'm going to dive into exactly what we'll be talking about amongst our loyal patreones i am elder rikasha of the gathering of christ church blessings to my brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth uh, let me put this tracker on on silent here shalom Yes, we'll be going over to Patreon talking about the sacrifice, the uh, the Moloch sacrifice of the elite, and and what exactly are they covering up with this P Diddy case? They have us looking one way, and and it seems as if they're only exposing or divulging just enough information. So to not move the attention to, to where it should be. Brothers and sisters, are these freak offs or are they satanic rituals? And while they have P. Diddy over there locked up, whatever they're doing with him behind closed doors, are the parties continuing? That and more we're going to go into the darkness amongst the elite, okay? Now, before I segue over, I'm going to show you all a few things of what I'll be diving into, the videos and all that, before I segue over to Patreon. Come on in, okay? Now, why am I going into this the bible states that even christ says everything in the dark comes to the light and it seems as if this 2024 has been a year a year a year excuse me a year of reveal a year of reveal and brothers and sisters the elite is are scrambling right now they are scrambling to a to a, to some degree where who knows what's going to happen 
leading up to or on election day. Why am I saying this, folks? Listen to what I'm saying. Once it's, once it's exposed what the elite are really about, that's the end of all end of all of these so-called uh, authoritative positions politically in America. All right, let me put this tracker to the side. People calling me all over the place. There's so many things going on in the earth right now. Let's dive in. First and foremost, for the Patreon members, you might be happy to know that just like YouTube, we now have a Patreon chat that you can chat simultaneously with me and other Patreon members during our lives every Friday. So the same options you have here to chat with one another, we have a chat up like, like it is through Academy and YouTube now. So when you come over the Patreon, you'll see me chatting. Go right into the chat room and we can chat and interact with one another during the broadcast before I open up the phone lines. That's number one. That's good news. More good news for my Patreon members. At one time, YouTube was set up where the content creators had direct contact and messaging subscribers. All that has changed since Google purchased YouTube. So yes, I can see my subscribers here on YouTube, but we can not interact, which means if there's an emergency and I wanted to uh, send a blast to about a hundred and some hundred and some hundred and hundred thousand some my people who are subscribers, I can't do that on YouTube. Okay. I can't just put out an APB or a blast to over a hundred thousand subscribers. They took that element uh, away, that element that would have us be able to communicate with you one-on-one -on -one outside of YouTube. Well, well, brothers and sisters, you might be happy to know that under Patreon, I'm about to segue there, on Patreon, okay, it's direct interaction between content user, myself, and all the members, and all the members that are on Patreon. Now, there was an obstacle for me. Why? Because everyone... Everyone is not going to pay the $5 a month to be a part of Patreon when subscribing to YouTube is free. Okay. Well, I found out that there is a workaround there. If you join our Patreon, Patreon slash a gathering one four four as what? As a free member on Patreon. If you, you can be absolutely free and still get limited content with a gathering one four four without paying anything. If you can't afford it, see, but if you are a member, even a free member, if I had to blast out an emergency APB on Patreon, the paid and unpaid subscribers would receive the notification would receive the message. And if you can't afford it right now, it's okay. There is limited content we have on Patreon where you can still see limited things. You just can't be a part of the lives and other, uh, uh, I would say niche content that's for paid subscribers, but you'll still get some information. And if something happens, I can send out a blast and you'll get it as a subscriber through our Patreon. And then later, if you would like to update it to get all of the amenities, you can do that at your own discretion at any time. But, but keep in mind, you're already in the loop. If you subscribe on Patreon, even if you are a free member or a free subscriber. Okay. So again, 
We got the chat for our loyal Patreonies. And we have another option. You can be, you know, you can be the $5 a month Patreon that's helping the church and get all the content. And you're in the loop when it comes to us reaching out to you. Okay. Or if you can't afford it, that's understandable. You you can still subscribe to Patreon forward slash a gathering one four four. Even as a free member, you'll get some content and you can always update. If, if you hear a topic you would like to get, be a part of later with the $5. Okay. Now, why am I saying this? It seems as if laws are, are getting passed and all these things that's going to restrict our being able to interact with one another on social media. Like we've, we, we've come accustomed to. There's a lot of laws on the books. That's going to try to separate us all together. So as much contact as we can have before all that happens to at least where I have what a data sheet of all the contacts and members and emails that I can blast in case of an emergency. We'll have that already outside of these computers. Okay. Where I can interact with you and let you know, this is where you can find us. This is what you would need to do. All right. Y'all understand that. I wanted to put that out there first because the one-on-one -on -one contact is not allowed here under this platform anymore. And I would, I would really like to reach out to you all in any, in any event of an emergency. Okay. I wanted to put that out there real quick. All right. Now it's Patreon forward slash a gathering one four four. Now, what am I going into today on Patreon? Well, it's being revealed in the earth today. All the, the wickedness behind closed doors is getting exposed. And when you pull the thread on the P Diddy thing, you'll realize the news is trying to make this a one-off as if there's just one bad apple, one bad apple, you know, who was out there freaking and all these other things without giving you the full understanding of that circle, that elite circle, and what they're truly trying to hide in this case against P. Diddy. Why is there so much sexual perversion in Hollywood amongst the elite? Anti-God activity. Well, folks, this is the piece. This is the piece. They're trying to conceal from the masses. In the book of Leviticus, the Most High spoke to Moses and the children of Israel and warned them and stated what? Thou shalt not let any of thy seed, that's your son or daughter, pass through the fire to Moloch. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. In a nutshell, keep your children away from the elite. They're into giving children over to their Canaanite God to be sacrificed. E either given over all together, which means, you know, getting rid of them or using them through their sex magic. That's the key element. That's the key piece right here. That's that that's being concealed in everything that we're seeing on the news. They're going to talk about P Diddy. They're going to talk about the adults, 
but they'll never talk about the spirit behind it all and what those parties were really about. And whether or not they will, whether or not, guess what? If, if P. Diddy's locked up, hey, somebody else probably just already just took his place and began to party someplace else, but the parties will never stop. These are Moloch parties, folks, and I'm going to talk about this on Patreon. Now, along with this law, there's something else attached to the child sacrifice in the same chapter. Listen to this. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, speaking of a man, as with womankind. It is abomination. That's man on man. So here it is. We have what? Moloch sacrifice of children. What the world would call today homosexuality behavior where man is intimate with another man all within two verses of the same chapter. Right? So is it a freak off or is what I'm reading the real spirit behind these parties? Who are they sacrificing to? And what are they performing these particular acts for? I'm going to go into it. Is deeper than some perversions, folks. They're opening up what? Dark gates. I'm going to talk about that on the other side. Because then after that, it goes into more perversion. Bestiality. Land with beast. All of this. The Most High warned our people to stay away from. So I'm going to go into this. Sacrifice and the elite on Patreon. We must have this conversation. Why must we have this conversation? Listen to this. If the elite powers can cause mental distress, mental disorders, dysfunctional families, amongst the poor communities folks this is how they get access to many children to perform their rituals right and the only thing they would have to do is put a line cast a wide net with their billboards by asking hey are you abused call this hotline number you're thinking that somebody on the other land line genuinely care and some of those people on the line probably do. But there's another element to all of that. There's an element that if, if they can find out that there's children in the home where someone is getting abused, those children become their focus. See? So they cast a wide net about abuse. But let me take the children out of your care so that they're safe from the abuse, huh? Casting a wide net, no, knowing that many children will go through the system. And when they return, they're not the same. So I'm going to talk about this. I got a few moments before I go over to Patreon, but... I'm going to show you real quick how it works in a nutshell. How the elite does sleight of hand. They'll tell you one thing, but really it's all about having you look the other way while they operate within their satanic circles. And their circles are aimed towards children one way or the other. Now I'm going to show you the hypocrisy and the contradiction real quick, right? 
I want you all to see this real quick. I want y'all to see this. Chuck Schumer. I believe he's a, a senator of New York. Jewish. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, but I'm just putting it out there. They've been telling us for a while, brothers and sisters, that illegal immigrants or the asylum seekers are here under some level of amnesty to save them from political danger. Now, how does this, how does, how does this go hand in hand? What I'm talking about migrants, child sacrifice, Moloch sacrifice. Let me show you because there's other reasons to why the strangers are here. They told us to help these people escape their war torn countries. Right? I'm going to show you the hypocrisy. Stick with me. I need y'all to hear Chuck Schumer. One year from today. One year passed. Let's see what the migrant so-called crisis is really about. They told us a year ago. Fair use for educational and religious purposes only now more than ever we're short of workers uh we have a population that is not reproducing it on its own we're short of workers and we have a population that's not producing on its own I, that's the excuse they're given for the migrants. I don't understand. How can the same party that promotes what they call reproductive freedom, which is abortion, state that we have a population problem? We have a problem not having children. If now, Let's view this for a moment. If the reason the migrants are here is because the United States birth rates are down, why are you pushing abortion? So obviously they want some people to have children, but not others. Are y'all following me here? They're promoting up in the birth rates with the migrants while promoting abortion rights, they call them, to our women who are, who are here in America. Isn't that a contradiction? With the same level that it used to, the only way we're going to have a great future in America is if we welcome and embrace immigrants, the dreamers and all of them, because our ultimate goal is to help the dreamers, but get a path to citizenship for all 11 million or however many undocumented there are here. See, they told us what they were doing. It had nothing to do with asylum. See, it was to promote others coming in, taking all the jobs, having children while replacing us. And they will promote what to us? Huh? One second. They will promote diabetes medication to us. High blood pressure medication to us. Vaccines to us. See? Reproductive rights. Abortion to us. and the American dream to them. 
Now there's more to it. That was Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer speaking to reporters outside the Capitol yesterday. Schumer's call for a path to citizenship for these some 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. comes just after a U.S. District Court blocked the Title 42 rule used by Presidents Trump and Biden to expel asylum seekers at the Mexican border. They call them asylum seekers. And on top of that, they sued the government of Texas and others, border states, to open up the borders to allow over 10, over 10 to 20 million in the country. And then we're hearing some things, of, some eerie stories about truckers, hearing people, sometimes alleg allegedly children, pounding on those containers be that's being traveled, allegedly. So on one hand, they said that America has a population problem, but while America has a population problem that they're going to solve with foreigners, this is what they're going to push on your daughters. Fair use, educational purposes only. You know, one of the most vital issues for voters, as you all know, heading into this presidential election, is the fight for reproductive rights. And Vice President Harris says she's willing to go to historic lengths to win this battle. To win this battle. Now, the East Indian Kamala Harris, a foreigner who have come to the United States, is championing for our people claiming she's black, reproductive rights. But she's not pushing this on East Indians, folks. Not the ones coming over the border. Take a look. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe. And, and, and we need and get us to the point where we 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in the law. Fair use. I'm going to read this because it annoys me just hearing her cackle. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe and get us to the point where 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in, in the law the protections for reproductive freedom. Reproductive freedom is a Jedi mind trick, trick word. Okay? Okay? It's, it's an utterly ridiculous phrasing of abortion. Reproduction in of itself means reproducing. That means having children. So you see their Jedi mind trick? And for the ability of every person and every woman to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. There's no such thing as a woman body belonging to just a woman. God gave her life. She's accountable to the God who gave her life. Her woman, her body isn't her body. Okay. Her body belongs to God. And if she has a man that she can lay down with, that woman's body belongs to him. That man. See, but they are intentionally messing up the minds of women so that they can have dysfunctional children that these elite can now get access to. The numbers are in. Children that are born in a home without a father has a 70% 70, 70 chance as a male getting incarcerated. On top of that, this is how a lot of young girls get on the track out there without any protection being utilized and used up where their children are now act. Now these elite have access to these dysfunctional children who are having dysfunctional children. Okay. The hypocrisy. I'm not going to stay here too long. This young lady here gave a testimony we're going to hear on the other side of this on Patreon 
she allegedly claimed that she was 16 years old, utilized as a party favor amongst the elite. And what she's saying, P. Diddy is the tip of the iceberg. He's only the butler. He's the guy who opens the front door. Okay. P. Diddy is the butler who was protected. You think he owned those homes, but we're going to talk about that on the other side. Are they hiding child sacrifice? We're going to talk about it on the other side. Another thing that most people don't know. Michael Jackson, folks, not only did he own part of Sony, not only did they want his publishing, not only did he, did he play the game so well that he ended up owning what? He ended up owning the rights to the Beatles and he started giving royalties back to its rightful owners. He started give, getting, giving publishing back to its rightful owners. He gave publishing back to Little Richard before he passed. Michael Jackson found out what was going on and he was going to become a whistleblower. He found out about the children. He found out about the children. And then he started singing in code. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. There was blood stains on the carpet. Annie, are you okay? He was blowing the whistle on child sacrifice. And when he began to blow the whistle, they blamed him, put accusations on him that he beat. So to take the blame off of him, to make him what? Non-credible. To make it where he could not say anything without being seen as some type of pedophile or wacko jacko and you would never guess what bulldog they placed on him in california the foreigner that would come against this brother who was trying to protect children who was trying to protect children you would never guess what bulldog, this foreign bulldog they placed on him to hide those that were really harming children. Fair use. Like this can depend on the testimony of the child accuser. In general, uh, the child will be able to recall and recollect with some detail the incident, and that is persuasive to a jury, even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave a wave when he was released after book. Who did they get to go against him in California? Even if it is the only testimony that is available. Jackson gave huh? Again. Some detail. The this is why Janet Jackson wasn't filling this woman. To recall and recollect with some detail. Look who they had going against Michael Jackson, folks. Huh? Let me show you. Look, look who they had going after Michael Jackson to discredit him. You can't make this up.
And let me tell you, Charlemagne, all these other shields, they're the ones claim that, yeah, we weren't going to back Biden unless he at least uh, uh, put in a black woman as vice president. It was all a con game from the beginning to have these foreigners in place who resent God's people to destroy us from the inside. They wanted to go against Michael because he had generational wealth and also he was about to expose the cabal. And if they had proof that Michael Jackson did anything to some children, believe me, he would have been prosecuted. But he was trying to expose it. And you had others covering, covering up the real criminals covering up for the real criminals. On the other side, I got to go because we're at the top of the hour. I have to go over the Patreon, but I need you all to understand what I have in front of you right here. This is a document. This is a document from March 21st, the year 2000. 24 years ago from the United Nations, and I'm going to read this over on Patreon. The replacement migration. Is it a solution? Is it a solution to a declining and aging populations? Folks, you don't have to send a standing army against the population if you can slowly get them to take certain things through diagnosis and, and get rid of themselves only to replace them with migrants with migrants who are used to living under tyranny through their war torn countries let me tell you, even if there was a straight up fascist regime here in America, it to the immigrants, this is this is this is more freedom than they ever thought they would experience, even if it was under fascism. They need compliant citizens with something over their head to continue this particular satanic cabal. And since we figured it out, they have a new source. That's right. A new pipeline to get access to children outside of those who understand what they're doing. I have the paperwork right here straight from the UN where they were talking about for years on page 73, the United States of America. If only they can diagnose us with all types of stuff and get us out of the way, only to bring in the replacements. I'm going there. I am going there on Patreon. On Patreon. So that's all I have to say. Y'all better see what's really going on. Let me tell you, if... If Americans out there, even those who don't have the truth, folks, if they allow this thing, everything that's going on to be put on some P. Diddy, they get exactly what they deserve, exactly what comes to them. If you're willing for them to package an open and closed deal, not realizing folks and a matter of fact you know what they don't deserve what comes to them because what comes to them is the same elite who put p diddy out there setting the circumstances in your community to get access in the future to your children that's right folks if you allow them to package this thing up as some individual freak party 
and let while looking the other way without looking at the whole picture which is the the Moloch elite with a requirement a requirement of Moloch sacrifice to be a part of the cabal is P Diddy guilty absolutely But he's not guilty for what they're putting out there. Okay? He is guilty. Fornication, sin, Moloch sacrifice, and guess what? If the butler opens the door, knowing what's behind the door, he's just as guilty as, as those who own the house. The, the problem here is we're going to sit here and allow them to just lock up the butler without asking any questions to what's behind the door. Yeah, P. Diddy is the butler. And once he's out of the way, there's going to be a new butler in front of that door, probably tonight, letting all these elite in for more party favors. Huh? And when I speak of party favors, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about on the other side. This girl breaks it down, folks. And she actually goes into how they're able to continually get access to little black children living in underprivileged communities. It's the whole thing is set up to aim towards moving children in the system. The whole thing. And we're going to talk about that on the other side. All right. Now, before I go, I would like you all to be a part of the Hebrew and Bible Academy beginning November the 10th. Okay. The fall of the last empire. The fall of the last empire is the topic. Election outcomes, folks, it's going to be deep because, hey, with the elite getting exposed, they may not want another election. Okay? They may topple the whole thing. They may topple the whole thing because, hey, I need y'all to think about this, folks. They got away with Pizzagate going away, being tied in a bow through Epstein. This stuff was coming out years ago that what was going, what was really going on in high places amongst the elite. And they're hiding the fact that it's really about the children. Next Academy. November 10th, the fall of the last empire. November 10th, I hope you all are there. It's going to be near the time of all the chaos going down in the earth. But you want to be here as we're teaching this groundbreaking lesson from Rome to America. And we're going to parallel all the systematic degradation that led to the fall of Rome. And brothers and sisters, we're right here. America is finished. And the proof of this is that there's no people that are willing to stand up against immorality and not even willing to stand up against what? A standing army marching over your borders without resistance, being led by foreigners who have been placed in position without one person voting for, for, for that individual. Not one person voted for Kamala, folks. And she's a heartbeat away from becoming president of the United States, probably before the election. Now, are, is our children safe? How can they be safe when they're promoting multiplying amongst their East Indian families, but yet they promote getting rid of black children in the United States under 
reproductive rights. No, it's not reproductive rights. Let's call it what it is. Moloch sacrifice. And brothers and sisters, it's, I'm going to tell you right now. If the, if the children aren't safe, no one's safe. Christ said he suffered the children to come unto him. Okay. They try to put all, let me tell you, even Oprah, after Michael Jackson died, try to sully his name. She's a plant. They try to cover up her connection, allegedly. She have pictures with Epstein, pictures with all these other criminals, the movie producer that got locked up. Folks, they swept under the rug the so-called girls' school to uplift and empower young black girls in Africa set up through Oprah Winfrey? Do you think so? Well, if P. Diddy is the butler, Oprah is the mammy. She just, she just get the little, the little girls ready for their physical violation, allegedly. The fall of the last empire. Is, the world, is World War III impending? How will this impact all of us? The answer is yes. We got hurricanes, war in the Middle East right now. Election outcomes, suspicious election outcomes. Wait for the election to probably get finessed that leads to the America breaking up into two separate parts. Truck driver strikes, and we all know they came to a, an agreement, you know, right before the election. They weren't going to let that go down, but still, still make sure you store food. Be there for our academy, and we will, we will drop this and teach this like it's our last lesson. Our last lesson. Our last Hebrew and Bible Academy. We're going to teach it like it's our last three months doing it. The path to the mark. Updated. The return of the hidden gods. The fall of America. The fall of the last empire. When we go into Daniel's the seventh chapter. You don't want to miss this academy. Go to historytimes.org to enroll. Now, now before I go, I have some good news when it comes to, to those who were supporting our weekly broadcast through Cash App. Okay? We were given a new Cash App. As you can see before you, if you would like to continue to support the weekly broadcast, you can do so starting today. You can send to dollar sign G-O-C-C -C report. Dollar sign G-O-C-C -C report. Okay. Our cash app is back up if you would like to support uh, we do have a new cash app coming for the church for the tithes and offerings for those who used to uh, give to the church that way who are who, who are members or don't have a location as of yet. OK, but if you want to support this dollar sign GOCC report, the cash app is up for the weekly reports we give you uh, Wednesday, Sunday and Friday. And I thank you for all you do to continually support this work, okay? So if you have Cash App, dollar sign, GOCC report, right there. It'll come directly to us. And if you have other, if you have other forms of payment outside of Cash App, you can go to gatheringofchrist.org slash donate, okay? Slash donate. That that in of itself will take you to this page. And the only thing you would have to do, let me go here, right here, 
It's hit donate, or you can get the calendar. Everything is here. Hit donate. And it'll take you exactly to our other options. We have Venmo now, which can be utilized the same as Cash App. You click on Venmo, at Gathering of Christ 144 is our Venmo. Okay? We have PayPal, and we do have the new Cash App strictly for the weekly broadcast, GOCC Report. You can have Zelle, Money Order, or credit card if you would like other options at GOCC I mean gatheringofchrist.org donate okay so I wanted to put that out there since we do have the cash app back and so many people uh, use cash app they were reaching out and say this is how I usually send so I wanted to let you know that dollar sign GOCC report that's how you contribute to our weekly broadcast, like what you've heard today. All right. Now we're going to go over into that sacrifice of the elite on the other side with our loyal Patreon members. Patreon forward slash a gathering 144. Come on in as we go over and discuss this topic because all the dark secrets are coming to light. All of it and the controllers are getting exposed. The controllers. Hey, folks, this stuff is very dark. Very, very dark. The controllers of what's really going on in this earth. And I'll tell you this right now. Don't forget, brothers and sisters. Not too long ago, earlier this year. There was a bunch of people. In Brooklyn under a tunnel. With all black on. And that story just went away. There was a bunch of people with all black on, speaking different languages, different Hebrew languages with all black on, which was a which looked like they was downstairs under some ritualistic thing. The cops were pulling beds, children beds, allegedly, with blood on them out of the walls they were building tunnels but now they done swung it to where we should be focusing on P. Diddy and some freak offs no one is asking questions to why in some of these P. Diddy parties they were ordering so uh, uh, all these pizzas pieces and hot dogs well they ordered all the, maybe think about it folks they were ordering pizza and hot dogs and all that at these parties we have a uh, we have a testimony here i'm going to show on the other side of a girl a young girl who stated she was 15 and 16 when it happened to her and she even said it you think that baby oil was for them She said it. You think this was about adults? Nasty. And I, and guess what? They'd rather put it on one, one person than to have the world uncover these children who are getting damaged through Moloch elite sacrifice. I don't want to hear nothing about no P. Diddy or anyone else until you tell me what was going on under those tunnels in New York and why not one person was locked up because of it. And if what we've seen, according to this organization called Kabad here in the United States, are they still in that area doing something that uh, the world should shine a light on? Don't give me no crap about just throwing one person out there as if he's ahead of all of this. After what I seen and reported on in the summer. Where they, they're building tunnels over there in New York. 
with these strange, these strange people dealing with these, these rituals over there under Kabod. Y'all better wake up, man. Y'all better wake up, brothers and sisters. People say can say what they want about Michael Jackson. Was he strange? Absolutely. But how many people are willing to put their own life on the line to warn the world? When he came out and said Tommy Mottola, Michael Jackson said Tommy Mottola is the devil. He had enough guts to name names. And you know what? And that's the mistake P. Diddy made. They want to take you down. You should have started naming names. Too late now. Too late now. Michael Jackson, brothers and sisters, was warning people through his songs. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. That's right. The elite began to what? Turn their back on Michael Jackson and began to use the media to turn the people against him. Well, well, of course, Michael Jackson looked strange and all that. And it's, it wasn't because, I'm going to tell you, and it wasn't because, brothers and sisters, he wanted to look white and all that. He went through those surgeries and all that after that fire. I was a kid when it happened. During that Coca-Cola commercial, it burned him. He was out for a good minute. It burned parts of his head, parts of his face, and he had to get the surgery to continue the career. That's what really happened. Okay? And he seen, let me tell you, he seen more things that he should have than he should have at a young age. He's seen more than what he should have. He should have. The same way Usher seen too, seen more than he should have at his age. Justin Bieber, on and on and on. They understand that there's a different world out there, and it's all con connected. Hollywood, the political, the politics, all of it is to keep this this straight satanic dark world, this cabal in position to continue their, their, their evil. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters, that evil needs innocent children as sacrifices. And they believe, according to their dark magic, it opens up portals to where the gods can give them more technology and understanding. This is how they open up dark gates for technology to get information. And the only people who can oppose them on earth are those who truly believe in Christ. That's their only opposition. That's why they're doing everything to stomp out even this secular Christianity. They need that off the table too. They don't want Christ mentioned because Christ is the only power that can oppose this dark evil we're now being ruled by within this evil satanic world. Going over to Patreon. Patreon forward slash a gathering 144. And yes, we do have a chat now where you can chat just like YouTube through Patreon. So come on, join Patreon. There's a $5 option where you can get everything on Patreon. Or you can, if you don't have the money, join for free. 
You'll get limited access, but at least, guess what? If something happens, we can still give you our weekly updates and interact with you regularly through Patreon. Okay? So that's important that you become a Patreon member, whether you can afford it or not. There's a free membership where you get limited con content, but you're still getting updates and all of that, and you can actually improve that or up that particular enrollment at any time for five dollars so whether you got money or not become a patreon member at least we'll have direct access to you in the event of an emergency we'll have you on a data sheet and do blasts let you know everything that's going on with the church okay see you on patreon shalom is where we're from the 12 tribes of Israel in 721 BC the Assyrian king he took us down we fell with the great escape we went through the Euphrates the Lord held the water still to a land where no mankind dwelt. We went the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, who we be, we be Manasseh, the Cubans, Ephraim, from Puerto Rico, and Valley from the house of Hawaii. The Lord is calling back his right yeah. Zebulon, from Panama, Cat, the North American Indians, Simeon, the Dominicans. The highest gathering is Israel. The Arabs and Africans told us. At gunpoint. Together our wives and children then sold us. In the belly of these great ships we traveled in fear. By the rivers of Babylon, we found our brothers here. A high gather us in Colombia. Ruben from Australia. It's a the Mexicans. A high gather us right now.